Hey guys, welcome once again to my channel, Colin's Accents. I hope you're having a great time. I believe you are anyway. So today we're going to be having um, a very important topic and that 30 creature, uh, sea creature vocabulary, okay? 30 sea creature vocabulary. And I've listed uh, uh, 30 of the sea creatures on the board, okay? So we're going to be taking them from number one to number 30, all right? And I'm going to be displaying the picture of each creature as I explain, all right? Number one is what we call a baloney. A baloney. The abalone is a mollusk found in warm seas, okay? This is a mollusk found in warm seas. Number two is what we call barracuda. 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 All right? You can see that on the screen. The barracuda is a uh, is a predatory tropical saltwater fish. A predatory tropical saltwater fish. All right. Number three is what we call the barnacle. The barnacle. That's number three. The barnacle is a crustacean that attaches to structures such as boats, hulls, rocks, and docks. Okay. Number four is what we call the blowfish. It looks very cute, right? The blowfish, this looks very cute. You can see uh, the mouth, all right? Uh, the blowfish actually is a fish that can inflate its body. You can see the body, you know, it's very big. It's been inflated from the, uh, from the picture you can see right now. The blowfish, all right? Number five is what we call the clownfish. <laughs> so you can drop the comments, your comments in the comment section below. Why is this actually called the clownfish? The clownfish is actually a brightly colored straight tropical fish, okay? And number six is what we call the coral. The coral. The coral is a tiny marine uh, animal with hard exoskeleton. Is a tiny marine animal with hard exoskeleton, okay? That's the coral, all right? Number seven is what we call the coral reef. The coral reef actually is a coral, but it's a large community or a large grouping of coral, okay? Typically occurring in warmer seas and teeming with sea life, okay? That's the coral reef. The coral reef is a coral, but is a large community. I mean, a large grouping of coral, all right? Number eight is what we call the crab. Of course, I know you know the crab. The crab, it's a, it's a crustacean with five sets of legs that include one set of pincers, all right? That's what we call the crab. You can see that in the picture uh, displayed on the screen. Number nine is what we call the dolphin. Dolphin, I know we know dolphin. Dolphin actually is a sociable sea mammal that is a small whale. So the dolphin is a whale but it's sociable, it's a sea mammal, it's a small whale, okay? Yes, that's a dolphin. Number 10, without wasting much of our time, is what we call the elephant seal. The elephant seal, this is a large bridge of marine mammal, okay? You can see, that's very large, the elephant seal. It's a large breed of marine mammal, okay? Number 11 is what we call, I like this, this fish, is a flying fish, you can see that on the screen. Are those the fins or are the feathers? Okay, or wings rather, are they wings? <laughs> I like the way it's been displayed. It's what we call the flying fish. Maybe it does fly, I think it flies. Yeah, it flies, it has, it has wings. All right, the flying fish, that's number 11. The flying fish actually is a tropical fish with large wing-like fins, okay? Those are fins actually, not wings with large wing-like fins that appears to fly over the top of the water when it jumps out, okay? So the fins look like wings, all right? So that's what we call them, the flying fish. Number 12 is what we call the giant squid. This is really large. I mean, giant squids are, I mean, I mean they are really, really huge, really huge. You can see that on the picture, all right? The giant squid, uh, these are deep, uh, water fish that can grow to an extremely larger size, all right? Number 13 is the jellyfish. The jellyfish 
This is a, a, a gelatinous, clear colored uh, aquatic invertebrate with stinging tentacles. All right, that's what we call the jellyfish. You can see it on the, on the picture that are displayed on the screen. Number 14 is what we call the lobster. The lobster. This is a large cylindrical shape marine uh, crustacean with five sets of legs, including one set of pincers. All right. That's what we call the lobster. That's the description there. Number 15 is the manatee. Manatee. I know we don't know some of these uh, sea animals, but what I want from you is that you can always drop your comments in the comment section below in case um, if you find anyone that is not on the board, okay, maybe you have any idea of any particular sea uh, body, you can always drop them in the comment section below. Uh, number 15, which is the manatee. The manatee is a large plant eating aquatic mammal, okay? It feeds on plants, okay? But it's a mammal, it's an aquatic mammal and it feeds on plants. Number 16 is what we call the mollusk. The mollusk, of course, is an invertebrate often with shells. So we have various types of mollusks uh, ranging from snails and uh, all that, okay? You can, you can see it on the screen displayed. So the mollusk is an invertebrate often with a shell. Number 17 is what we call the octopus. The octopus is a cephalopod mollusk with eight legs, okay? You can see that on the screen. Number 18 is what we call the otter. The otter is a semi-aquatic mammal related to whistle, okay? Number 19 is what we call the oyster. Oyster. The oyster is a shelled bivalve mollusk with a rough shell. Okay, that's the oyster. You can see that on the screen displayed. Number 20 is what we call the sea turtle. The sea turtle. The sea turtle is an ocean reptile with a leathery shell. Okay, an ocean reptile with a leathery shell. Number 21 is what we call the sea anemone. The sea anemone. Okay, anemone. All right, sea anemone. The sea anemone is an aquatic invertebrate with a column-shaped body and tentacles, all right? It has a column-shaped body with tentacles, all right? Number 22 is what we call the sea, uh, the sea urchin. Sea urchins, okay? The sea urchins are spiny sea creatures, spiny sea creatures. That's number 22. And number 23 is what we call the seagull. The seagull. These are commonly used names for girls, okay? It's a type of a, a seabed, all right? So that's what we call the seagull, all right? Number 24 is what we call the seahorse. The seahorse is a marine fish that swims upright, and it has a shape of a horse. <laughs> and that's why they call it uh, the seahorse, okay? Number 25 is, of course, the shark. I know everyone knows the shark, okay? The shark is a predatory saltwater fish. It's a predatory saltwater fish, all right? Number 26 is the shrimp. The shrimp is a small marine uh, crustacean, a small marine crustacean, all right? Uh, that's a shrimp, okay? Uh, number 27 is the sponge. Sponge. I know uh, you can see that from the, the picture. <laughs> it looks very funny. I believe that's where they got the name SpongeBob, right? And that's where the name came from. Uh, SpongeBob looks like, <laughs> it looks like the sea creature sponge. Of course, I believe that's where the name came from, SpongeBob. Number 28 is what we call the stingray. But before I move forward, what is a SpongeBob? The SpongeBob is a marine cellular organism with porous bodies. You can see that on the screen. Number 28 is what we call the stingray. The stingray is a flat cartilaginous fish. Okay, it's a flat cartilaginous fish. That's a stingray. Number 29 is the walrus. The walrus from the screen is a large, uh, is a large sea mammal with tusks. Okay. You can see it on the screen. The water is very large, very huge. Number 30, which is the last uh, sea creature we're going to be talking about today, is the whale. 
okay? The whale. Of course, we know the whale is a large uh, marine mammal, okay? So these are the 30, um, the 30 uh, sea creature vocabulary we're going to be looking at today from number one to number 30. Don't forget, if you have any question, you can always drop your comment, uh, your question below in the comment section. Uh, actually, you've seen these 30 creatures and you've seen the pictures of each of these creatures. And I believe you like, you know, to uh, see these creatures and see these creatures, you know, live for long. All right. Because most of these creatures are going extinct. And I believe you don't want that. So this is why this video is to support uh, uh, the, this huge vision that the popular YouTuber Mr. Beast, you know, is pioneering this moment called the Team Seas. Team Seas, okay? You can see the, the hashtag and, and the topic and the description below. So the Team Seas is what is going on right now. The goal is to clean up the world's largest uh, sea or beach at the moment. So please support Mr. Beast to make sure these 30 creatures don't go extinct, okay? By supporting wonderful Team C, you know, claiming that Mr. Beast is pioneering at the moment. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit on the subscription button below for more of my videos. And if you have any comments, please don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section. So what I'm gonna say right now is peace.